Robert Small's grave and memorial at the Tabernacle Baptist Church in Beaufort, just blocks from the property on which he grew up a slave. He was determined and ambitious and um, enterprising. And without any particular education, he made himself a rich and influential man during his lifetime. Larry Rowland, a history professor at USCB and an author, is an expert on Smalls. He says his ultimate wealth was connected to his heroic feat in the Civil War, stealing the Confederate ship of which he was pilot and delivering it to Union forces. A remarkable story that was all over newspapers and made him famous and it made him rich too because he got uh, a, quite a payoff. Smalls used part of his his monetary reward, Roland says, to buy the home formerly owned by a slave master on whose property he was raised. Some of the funds went to buy other property in Beaufort. He knew business deals, he knew real estate, he owned a lot of real estate in this town, including this building and the one across the street. Political success followed, first as a state rep and senator, then as a five-term U.S. congressman. One of Small's biggest political contributions may have been in education. As a delegate to the State Constitutional Convention of 1868, Small's, according to Professor Rowland, was the force behind a provision which provided for three years of public education for all South Carolinians. African-American education was the major reason for that provision being in the Constitution. Credit Smalls as well with bringing the military to Paris Island. He was the fellow who got the first appropriations for the purchase of land on Paris Island. Of course, the effect of that has been profound on the economy of Beaufort County. Kind of like the influence Robert Smalls in life and death has had on the world.